We are going to show you how to do a lesson from the Risas y Sonrisas Spanish program for kids. We'll show you how all of the moving components connect with the lesson and give you some tips for getting started. The very first thing you want to do when you get this curriculum in the mail is to email the company and ask them for the Cognate Song MP3s that go with this Cognate folder as well as the reproducible PDFs. They will know exactly what you're talking about and they will happily send them your way to download onto your computer. The next thing you're going to want to do is to organize your homeschool instructor manual. So when you get it, it is just a big stack of papers tucked into this three ring binder. And I do recommend reading all of the information in the front because it is a lot of information for the instructor to understand how the program works and all of the different components. So I went in and I organized all of the pages. This first section is all of the instruction and tips and there's a table of contents and it's going to show you a breakdown of what's included in this binder and all of the different sections so that you can come back to them when you need to. Behind that red tab, I have separated out all of the game instructions for all the different components and the online things. And then next I have all of the um, detailed contents of the workbooks. And finally, the last tab is where you actually get into the lesson plans. All right, let's walk you through a lesson. So lessons are broken up into sections. This first one is into four, so you could take four days to do it or just work through however much the child is um, willing and able to do. Like lesson two is only three sections. You can just kind of um, take it at the pace that your child needs. As you go through section one here, it mentions the book. That is talking about the textbook. So as it's talking about, it says you're going to go to page number nine. So we're going to get the textbook and open it up to page number nine. Then you would read this page to them. And then here, this next section is the reproducible download a copy of the map. That's the PDFs that you're going to ask them for. And then you'll be able to print that out for your student. All right, the next section is the Cognates. And here we have Cognate, on the other side here, we have Cognate folder, audio CD, and cards. Audio CD in this case means the Cognate MP3. So if we pull over the Cognate folder and open it up, here's a list of the Cognate. Um, this is what the audio CD of the Cognates would be. They're gonna send you these MP3s. That first one is introduction, so it's gonna tell you about Cognates. And then each of these numbers is correlating with your Cognate flashcards that we, and we stored these in a bag. And there is no number one because the number one on the MP3s is just the introduction. So for this lesson, we need Los Animales, which is number 12. And just a tip on these, we stored each grouping in like a square snack bag and then put them in the quart bag so that we could easily grab them or you can rubber band them or whatever works for you. So you'll get these and you'll lay them out and you'll do this activity with them. Next, you go back to the book for page two and then you'll go to the online program to do an activity with it. And in this case, the music CD that they're talking about is this CD, the vowel song, can you flip it over? The vowel song is right here, number one. So there, it will mention audio CD different times and you just gotta know when it's talking about cognates, it's the MP3s, otherwise it's talking about, oh, I guess audio CD is the MP3s and music CD is the CD they provided for you. The online program that they're talking about is the app here. So you go to your login at app.spanishforkids.com. You get in and then you'll see this main menu. And you'll go to, in this case, vowels pronunciation and then vowels rhyme. So you'll come in here. It says pronunciation and then within it you'll find that vowels 
um, the vowels rhyme. And the same thing for the numbers one through 10, you'll come in to the main menu, find the numbers and find the one through 10 and do it that way. Then the next one, you work in the textbook, the online program, and then you bring in workbook number one. Here it is. And so the lesson will tell you what page you need to do. And in this case, we're going to be going to page 12. So right here it tells us page 12. And then you come here and it walks you through what they need to do. So you're not gonna do the workbook um, straight as you go. You, the, you'll need the lessons to walk you through to what pages to do. So that's all the components for lesson one. Going into lesson two, we have the music CD for the vowels, and then you have an activity over here. And it's to, you know, get a small dry erase board and have them work through it with you. And then they do the online program. Then over here, you start on the second section, you start out with the online app, Q&A number one. So it tries to walk you through, and it may take a minute to get used to where each of these things is. But in that main menu, as you click around, you'll find them. Then there's another activity. And then you come down to three. And so you have the book, the online app in the color section, flashcards. And in, actually, in this one, with flashcards, they actually mean the dominoes. And then you'll use the workbook. So you'll go to page 13, 12 and 13 in the book and read that. And then you'll go to the online app and listen to the color song, which is on that CD if you want the music CD that they provided you. And then the colors dominoes. We've also put these sections into little um, square snack bags and then put them inside of a quart bag just to have them all separated easily. So you'll do that activity with the dominoes and then go to workbook one, page two. And then this side wants you to do the online app the music CD colors, listen to the song throughout the week. So it's like something you can take in the car or something like that. All right, let's see. Going on to lesson three, you have um, listening to the vowel song on the CD and the number song as review. And then you do a pronunciation Q&A. And I like that it has you interact with them so that you're saying them together and there you're practicing it with them in a conversational way. And so some of the activities are like that. And then here on the next section, you have the textbook, you have online app, you have the BL master and the workbook. Follow the colors on page 12 of your textbook while singing, listen to the color song online. Oh, reproducible download. So this BL Master is their reproducibles. So it says on cardstock, copy for each student the shapes and numbers. So that's these, the shapes and the numbers that were part of the PDFs that they sent that I had to ask for in an email. Then you're going to have the child listen to the song again, and then they get to color in the shapes to match the textbook and then you cut them out and save them for other activities. In this activity, it says to play Colorines one game with colors, page 35, book open. That is not the textbook, that's this binder book. If you go to page 35 in, let's see, we go to the game section that I've separated, page 35, is the color tiles games and there's the instructions so if you come across a reference that doesn't match what you think it is check one of the other books like in the textbook it was a page talking about a cultural thing so I knew that was not what this was so I checked the binder book I checked the pages and I found it so if you're having a hard time with one thing and you try it and it's not it try something else that's similar. So there's the first three lessons. And we didn't talk about the bingo cards or whatever these are because we just haven't come across them in these early lessons. And by the time you come across them in the future lessons, you will have a good handle on the program and how it works and how the components work that you should be able to 
know when to pull it in and the instructions are in the game instructions. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. On this channel, we talk about all things family, and that's recipes, household tips, and homeschooling. So if you're interested in any of those things, please stick around and check out my other videos. Thanks. Thank you.